All right, we are here for 15.2 attributes of three-dimensional solids. How can you identify and describe spheres, cones, and cylinders? Draw to short the, sort the three-dimensional shapes. Okay, so we're going to sort the three-dimensional shapes into two groups. What groups do you see? I see shapes that are round and shapes that are not round. So I'm going to get my pencil, my drawing tool, and I notice that these shapes all right in here are all the same. And I notice that these shapes all right here are all similar. Okay, these shapes have no faces, no vertices, no corners, and these shapes have plenty of faces and plenty of corners. Okay, look at the surfaces on these three-dimensional solids. Some are flat, some are curved. Okay, this is a sphere. The sphere has no faces, no surfaces, and no uh, corners or vertices. <clears throat> this is a cone. A cone has a face right here, a flat surface right there, and then a pointed surface that comes to a point right here. Okay, so that's going to be your vertice. And then you have your cylinder, which has two faces, one on bottom and one on top and no vertices, no corners, okay? New spheres, cones, and cylinders. Sort the solids into two groups, name and draw the solids. Only a curved surface. So out of all the shapes that we've learned about, which one has only a curved surface? No, no faces, no vertices, no nothing. A sphere, good, so we'll draw a sphere. And then my dotted line to indicate the sphere. Okay, that was my poorly drawn sphere. Please be patient with me. Okay, number two, both flat and curved surfaces. Okay, a cone has a flat surface right there on the bottom, and a cylinder also has a flat surface. Okay, so there's your cone and there's your cylinder. Okay, use three-dimensional solids, solids, write the number of flat surfaces for each shape. A cylinder has, so let's look up at our cylinder, a cylinder has one, two flat surfaces. Two flat surfaces. A cone, let's look at our cone, our cone has one flat surface, and our sphere has zero flat surfaces. Okay, six, seven, and eight, you're gonna name the shape. So the soccer ball right here is a sphere. This birthday hat right here is a cone, C-O-N-E, okay? And then your can right here is a cylinder, C-Y-L-I-N-D-E-R. That's a little hard to type with this, or write with this tool, but I'm working on it. <clears throat> Number nine, Kelly drew objects that have both flat and curved surfaces. Circle the objects that she drew, both flat and curved, okay? <coughs> this shape right here is a sphere. A sphere has no flat surfaces, so can it be both flat and curved? No, so that is not one of our options. This is a cone. It has a flat surface and a curved surface, so it can be one of our shapes. Okay, this is a cube. This cube has flat surfaces, but does it have any curved surfaces? No, it does not, so it cannot be one, okay? Then we have our cylinder. Our cylinder has two flat surfaces and a curved surface, so it can be one of our shapes, okay? Daily assessment task. Um, I want you guys to do as much of this on your own as you possibly can. Um, I will read the questions, and then the homework is for homework. <clears throat> All right, number 10, Lorna wins a toy that has no flat surfaces, so no flat surfaces is very important. Which solid is the shape of the toy she wins? So you pick the, the shape that has no flat surfaces. Number 11, Jerry has a can that is shaped like a cylinder. How many flat surfaces does the can have? So if it's shaped like a cylinder, it's going to look sort of like this. <clears throat> Okay, 
that's a better version. So here's the circle on top and here's that and the circle on bottom. <clears throat> so how many flat surfaces does it have? Okay, number 12. Which solid has only one flat surface? Not zero, not two, one. And number 13, which solid has two flat surfaces? Not zero, not one, two flat surfaces. Okay, and then you guys have your homework and practice. Um, using your assessment and your work, you should be able to complete this very quickly. Um, it's a review of everything that we just did, so you should be able to identify and draw each solid, name the number of flat surfaces each shape has, and answer your four questions. All right, that's the end of that.